What's up? What's up? We're gonna let everybody on uh, Instagram know we are live. Welcome to Dugout Talk. It is the place where we're gonna talk all about things that are going on in baseball, things that um, questions you guys have. So we're gonna let some people get into the room here. Let, let everybody on Instagram know. So. What's up? Who's in the chat? Hit us on the chat. What's up? What's up? You guys head over to uh, head over to YouTube. We're about to start the uh, live talk over on YouTube. Um, so make sure you guys join in on YouTube. We got forty one people in the Instagram right now. So you guys head over to YouTube, hit our story, swipe up, and you'll go right to the uh, YouTube. So let's go over there and chat. What's going on? What's up, Aaron Judge 9927? How you guys doing? Head over to YouTube. We're going to get the talk going over on YouTube. Um, we're live streaming on YouTube, so make sure you guys head over to YouTube right now. Conversation is going to start in a couple of minutes. Um, make sure you're on YouTube. I'm going to field all the questions. Any question you guys have, I will answer it on YouTube, whether it's about Prospect Dugout, whether it's about baseball in general. We're just going to have a conversation over on YouTube. So head to YouTube right now. Make sure you head over there, post all your questions in the chat, and I'm going to answer them tonight on the Dugout Talk over on YouTube. So check us out. All right. I'm into the stream. See you on YouTube. Make sure you swipe up on our story. That's the link. What's up, guys? What's going on? Post your questions in the chat, and we'll answer them. We got it there. Put your questions to the chat. We're getting some people in here. Hopefully. We got two people right now. If you guys asking any questions, let us know what's up. Larry Wolf, favorite baseball team. Uh, my favorite baseball team. Oh, man. That's a good question. Um. Favorite baseball team is probably the Detroit Tigers. Uh, played with the Detroit Tigers when I first got signed, so that was my – the team always stuck out to me. So <clears throat> what's the furthest ball you ever hit? Oh, man, you know, I have no idea the measurements. Unfortunately, I never played the big leagues with StatCast, so I don't know. Um, What's your opinion on the talks of banning the shift? Um, that's a good question. That's why I wanted to kind of hop on YouTube. We've got a lot of um, good baseball knowledge going through our Instagram, and we wanted to bring um, some some content to YouTube and let you guys really ask questions. It's really hard on, on Instagram Live. So my thoughts on banning the shift. Uh, I think it's a heck of an idea. Um, I was the one who posted <clears throat> on Twitter about banning the shift. Uh, it's just my personal opinion. 
Uh, I think that the way that I would explain it, if I was sitting down with the commissioner, I would say that um, you give each each team, you know, let's say for simple math, you give them eight shifts a game. Okay, so if you have a lineup, let's say we'll take the Yankees lineup, and you want to shift on Aaron Judge and uh, John Carlos Stanton, then you can shift them for four at bats each, which usually in most games, I would say 60% of the games, uh, those guys are going to get four at bats each. So you're going to cover them for four at bats each, um, you know, with the shift. But the strategic part comes in do you shift just two guys for four at bats, or do you shift based on the matchup? Do you shift based on, you know, righty righty lefty lefty than the other so that way there's a little bit of strategy involved in it but then once you burn your shift so if i decide to shift on john carlos Stanton and aaron judge for four at bats and let's say it works and produces six outs um for me and it worked now if my pitcher gives up a couple more hits and those guys get a fifth at bat or the game goes extra innings. Now the strategy that I used at the beginning of the game has failed me in the end because now all my shifts are used. So um, I be it, you know, some of the ones that I listed yesterday in some of the chat when I was going back and forth with people. Uh, if you ask Chris Davis, if you ask Joey Gallo, if you ask guys like Brian McCann, um, big shift guys, I would even say like a guy like Josh Donaldson who probably gets shifted quite a bit. Big power hitting pool guys, <clears throat> if they would agree with being on board with that, um, I think they would all say yes, not just because it would raise their hits, but you guys got to understand in the game of baseball, it's a business. So the game of baseball, uh, those guys don't get paid to be the quote unquote complete player. And I appreciate everybody in the um, chat who was really big on, oh, you know, they're professionals and they should be able to go the other way. Well, guess what? They can go the other way. And I'm sure if you ask Josh Donaldson to hit the ball the other way or uh, Stanton or Joey Gallo, those guys can hit the ball the other way, but unfortunately they don't get paid to hit the ball the other way. And that's what I think the modern day fan loses sight of in the game of baseball is that the, um, the baseball players that you love is great, but the fact is that they're not paid to be complete baseball players. They're can pay, They're getting paid to do one job, and that's why a guy like Chris Davis, who hits a buck ninety but hits forty home runs, has a job and is in the conversation. And he's still going to start next year. Um, if you hit one ninety with thirty home runs in college um, or in the minor leagues, you're you're not going to keep going just as what it is, but they're paying Chris Davis to do a certain thing. So they're not really concerned about him laying down a bunt because Chris Davis is getting paid to drive in runs and hit home runs. That's facts. Um, so that's my rant. We could go into it a little bit deeper. If you guys have more um, deeper questions on that. Uh, did you know that? You know, so uh, Andrew Simmons, good shortstop. He, you know, it's, it's tough. Uh, when you got a guy like, uh, Francisco Lindor, uh, Segura, who was in the all-star game this year as well. I mean, all-star game, you know, there's a lot of good players that are sitting at home during the all-star break. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people got to understand, Trey. That's a good question, but um, I didn't know that. And, uh, again, like I said, there's a lot of great baseball players that sit at home during the All-Star game just because there's that many great players in the major leagues. Um, how do you feel about people who can –
bigger and slower runners. Uh, Isabella, I'm going to need you to clarify that question a little bit. How do you feel about people who can hit and pitch really good but are bigger and are slower runners? Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that. Um, you know, the beauty of baseball is that, you know, um, for the most part, size doesn't matter as in height and weight and, and things like that. You still have to be functional on a baseball field, uh, to be able to play at certain levels. Um, but if you can do certain things exceptional, obviously there's, um, there is, uh, exceptions to every rule. Um, I want to ask you guys another question. Okay. Like people are good at the game itself, but not really good athletes. Like they're slow. Um, you know, baseball is really not terribly much of a game of stamina unless you're a pitcher. Um, again, um, if you're good at the game itself, uh, you know, you, baseball is one of those things like it's such a skill sport and there's a lot of mental side of baseball. Sometimes you don't have to be the best overall athlete to um, really, you know, play the game at a high level. So uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly what you meant, but um, that's my best answer on that. So, um, again, we got a few people in here. Um, I'm going to hop off of YouTube. I'm going to go over to Instagram. We'll get on Instagram for a minute, answer some questions. Thank you guys for joining us here. We're going to build some content up and uh, do more of these live streams so I can dedicate more time to answer some of these questions. So thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you guys next week.